Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and it is Monday, and this is technically the third day in a row that I have gotten surprise friend mail, which is beyond amazing and so incredibly appreciated. So unnecessary, but so thoughtful, and it means the world to me. Since yesterday was Sunday and there was no mail delivery, I'm pretty sure I got my package from the Raval family on Friday and my package from Jeannie on Saturday. So this is technically, mail-wise, like... USPS delivery service wise my third day in a row of surprise friend mail and I'm so grateful this box is from my amazing friend Terry who I love so much she's so creative and crafty she is incredibly generous so thoughtful she has sent me friend mail goodies more times than I can count and I am so appreciative I was truly not expecting anything this time around because I know she's sending goodies to people because she just always does but I have been so fortunate to receive so many goodies from her I I know she's trying to spread the wealth so I did not expect anything but she the, expect the unexpected from Terry that's all I have to say so we're just going to dig into this box and see I see a Santa poking out over here it's a rubber ducky Santa I love rubber duckies I have many and this is the cutest little Santa look at his little butt Oh, he's so cute. I love him. I don't even have any more room, like, in the area of my tub where I'm putting Ducky. So I'm just going to have to, like, line the whole damn tub. And my mom's just going to have to deal. Because <laughs> I love them. And here is the card that she sends. And look how amazing that is. Look at her and her wonderful family. Her husband, Ken, and her son, Kenny. I love them. <laughs> oh, my God wishing you lots of joy on toilet paper and look at the masks they're wearing there they're made of tinsel because they are seriously like the coolest and look at those gorgeous faces hold please sorry yet another phone call this is the third time i've tried to film this video because everybody in the world is calling and it's not even people we know or care about it's mostly junky calls but anyway so we're going to keep Terry's family and Santy right there in the background and let's just reach into this package of joy and see what's next oh my gosh I'm so excited so excited everything's kind of bundled together so that's okay we're just gonna pull it out oh my gosh these are so fun <laughs> these are great oh my gosh Brian and I are so rocking these over our regular shades we got these awesome peppermint sunglasses or glasses I don't know if they actually sunglasses there yeah anything that's not like regular clear lenses counts as sunglasses I would say but look at these fun peppermint candies we got red and green I'm gonna keep the green because I love green and he actually I think would prefer red because he loves Superman he's his favorite superhero so Superman blue is his favorite color but anything that's got that you know that bright Superman red is also cool for him and then in here we have a Christmas necklace. <laughs> it's an ugly sweater. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is so cute. Uh, I am so rocking this today. I don't think I'm even leaving the house because it's raining out, but it is so cute. And plus, I'm just like scared to leave the house lately anyway with all the crazy in the world. The little card fell over, but there's everything so far. We move Santy right there. This stuff is so awesome. And I apologize if the lighting is weird, but again, it is raining, so it's cloudy outside, so I have my big overhead light on. Oh my God, I love this pen. And Terry knows that I love this pen. Carrie Fisher is one of, and I say is, I don't want to say was. I don't like to use the past tense with Carrie, even though I have to accept that she's in another place far better than this one a galaxy far far away perchance she'd cringe that I said that I'm sure I talk like I know her personally but I feel like she was like a kindred spirit and uh, say I used was but I love Carrie Fisher so so much I mean Leia obviously is a rock star but for so much more than Princess Leia I love her for her openness and honesty about her struggles with mental illness I love her that she is, see, I'm just going to keep saying is, and that's fine. Uh, she's a recovery warrior, that she struggled with her addictions and overcame them. And 
I just will cherish this forever. And this is so fierce and cool. And a lot of times people use this slogan, fight like a girl in the battle against breast cancer. And while I thankfully have not had breast cancer, I did have cancer in my face, as you guys well know. And this is just a perfect slogan to remind myself that I have to unleash my inner badass a lot more often. And sorry, my cuticle's funky. I just noticed that. I'm trying to get my nails to grow back nicely and they're in hot mess shape. But anyway, um, this pin is amazing. I love it so much. And it's probably going to go on either my handbag or my favorite denim. I don't know what weather is going to be like for the next, you know, foreseeable future because Mother Nature is drunk, but... If it's denim jacket wearing weather, I will put her on there. If not, I will put her on my handbag because I know that I will be taking my handbag every time I go out. So probably I'll put her on there. But I love her. I love her. I love her. So that is, again, all the goodies so far. And there's still more in this wonderful package. I love you, Terry. You're so awesome. Oh, my gosh. There's so much stuff in this little bag over here. So we'll go through this in a minute. Let's just, let's just, what the hell? What am I pussyfooting around for? Let's just dig in. Okay. And this is just fun bubble wrap that I can enjoy later. I'm just peeking at the box. I, yes, that's everything. Excuse me. As I burp, because I'm classy. Okay, wait till we go through all this. I am so excited. Okay, next up. <gasps> Look at these kitty Christmas ears. Oh my gosh. I love Christmas ears. I love kitty cat ears. These are so soft. I am going to wear the crap out of these. I love them. And they're like nice and like stretchy. So they'll fit my fat head and not give me a headache. Because I do get headaches sometimes with the plastic ones. But this feels like it's more of like wire inside. So these are going to fit great and feel wonderful. And I absolutely adore them. I'm going to put them right there. Then we have another doggy. Santa's got to have his elf, right? So we got a little ducky elf, and he's so cool. Maybe I'll name him Buddy because I'm not very creative, but Buddy Elf is going to chill back here with Santy. So he's right there. And then we've got two bags full of joy. Which one should I do? Well, technically, I touch that one first, so we'll do this one first. I'm just going to open it up and pour out stuff, and we're going to look at it together. This is so exciting. Oh my God, Terry, you're amazing. Okay, first we've got, oh, look at these paws. Oh my gosh, I'm wearing these today. These are so cute. Did I not just say that I love green? Green is my second favorite color after blue. So at, as far as Christmas colors go, you know, quote unquote Christmas colors, which I guess technically are green, red, and white. Green is my fave. So I love these. These are perfect. Terry did not know that, but... Somehow she always knows. She's like Santa. She just always knows. Next up. Are you kidding me? It is the child. And I am so ashamed to admit this right now, you guys. I'm the last person on the planet. I have not yet watched The Mandalorian. I know. I know. I know. I know. Brian binged season one over the course of a couple of days. And he said he's willing to watch the first season again with me so I can catch up before he watches season two. But I am not, you know, not aware of things in this world. So, I mean, obviously, I've seen little snippets and commercials and stuff of the child and Baby Yoda, the child, whichever you call him, is like the cutest thing in the whole wide world. And I love him. He looks like he's wearing like little Christmas PJs or a little Christmas robe. And I love him. I go into Oprah voice sometimes and I'm excited. Next up, we have... This amazing, look how sparkly this is. My favorite color blue. We have this amazing Mickey keychain and I love it. And it's got the heart inside. I literally like wanted to cry this morning because you guys may or may not know or may or may not recall that Brian and I lived in Florida for a little over eight years. And for four of those years, I think we were so, so, so blessed and lucky to have Disney annual passes. That was our Christmas gift that we would get from my mom. And we went to Disney so much and 
like every every occasion, every anniversary, every holiday, every birthday, and many, many, many times in between. We typically just avoided it mostly during the summer months, number one, because it was hot AF, and number two, because it was super crowded because all the kids were out of school. But I was looking back on at my Facebook memories before I shot this, and so many of them were Christmas you know, pictures and holiday pictures at Disney because this was, you know, around Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving fell on this day that say is November 30th, you know, several times. And, you know, pictures from like the 29th and the 28th, you know, you might have missed these memories, lots of Christmas pictures and holiday pictures and Disney pictures. And I was just missing Disney so much. So this is like a little bit of Disney right here in my hands. And I absolutely love it. All right, you guys, oh, this is crazy, Terry. I, oh, I I can't thank you enough. I mean, I could try, but there's just no adequate way to do it. I'm so grateful and so lucky to have you as a friend. Uh, Terry, I met at, yeah, Monster Mania. I guess we met at Monster Mania. Um, I knew it was a convention. I just couldn't remember which one. Like, I've been to so many. I've been to, like, three <laughs> but many more than three but i mean three different owned like conventions monster mania pop rock and horror and um once we went to eternal con here on long island which is not a horror convention but it is a convention and then once we went to one that i don't even remember the name of and it was so awful i would never go back okay uh mom don't call me right now i'm doing something now I'm getting a call from my mother. Um, but anyway, Terry is just such an amazing person. She always gives me swag. And I always try to have some bracelets on hand to give her. But she spoils me rotten. Look at this Disney necklace. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. With the peppermints and the little Santa belt and the Mickey ears and the Mickey hat. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then that was sticking to this magnet. And I want to open it this way so I can be surprised. And I do save all of these bags because, first of all, recycling is important. And second of all, these are great for the bracelets that I give to people. So I love that I even get useful uh, Ziploc bags. So thank you for that, Terry. Oh, let's see. Oh, my gosh. Look at how great that is. I mean, who does not love Christmas Vacation? It's such all of the vacation movies. Well, I can't say that. Vegas was pretty crappy but um okay my mother's calling again there's a reason why i can't answer your call um but christmas vacation is i think my husband's favorite christmas movie certainly his favorite christmas comedy mine is actually a christmas story but this one's right up there and how cute is that and it was so funny to me like that they always replaced audrey and rusty with different actors i just think that's so funny now my mother's calling on the house phone please hold Sorry, guys. Okay, we're back. But, um, yeah, it was always so cool that they replaced the kids with different actors, and they were all so talented. I mean, the fact that this one had Johnny Galecki and Juliette Lewis is just crazy to me. But I love this. Love this magnet. Love it, love it, love it. Then we have another necklace here. There's just so many good things here. I'm so excited. And I'm sorry that things are going out of focus and getting wonky. It's just... It's 11.14 in the morning, and already it's a crazy day. Uh, let me get this one out. I like when they're, like, facing down because then I get the fun of just flipping it over and seeing what it is. Ta-ta! <gasps> there we go! Look at that! Oh, my gosh! <gasps> this is hilarious. Okay, wait, wait. I want to get it to focus so you guys can read it. Come on, Sophia. I freaking adore the Golden Girls. I'm trying to get it to focus, though, so we can see what it says. Okay. I can't read it. Why can't I read it? Why won't it focus? Focus. Focus, please. Okay. I can't read it. Dang it. I don't know why it's being so difficult. Focus. 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 I hate my phone sometimes. Okay, I can't read it, but I will read it because my eyes are so bad. Literally this big, I can't read it. Oh my God, it says Merry Christmas, Slut Puppy. Okay, <laughs> it just registered with me. So clearly she's talking to Blanche. That is the funniest thing. It says Slut Puppy, doesn't it? Okay, hold. I need to look in good light. Hold on. Let's say 
Let me pause this for one more second. It's Merry Christmas, Slut Puppy. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God, I can't. I freaking worship the Golden Girls and Sophia always killed me. She was just the funniest. I think I am a Dorothy for sure. Comment in the comments down below which Golden Girl you think is most like you. I am definitely a Dorothy. I have that dark, sarcastic, very self-deprecating personality. Never really, you know, always down on myself. My mother's a pain in my freaking you know what so yeah i'm a dorothy but let me know which golden girl you are i love that look at this one be naughty save santa a trip and this one is a button and i love it and yeah i think i've got that covered actually i will be getting lumps of coal this year if he even bothers to bring me coal coal is like a valuable resource so we may not even be getting coal we shall say then we've got another pin, another button type pin it says if you stop believing in santa you only get underwear <laughs> hysterical oh my gosh okay I could say something really funny about my husband but I'm not gonna because that's too personal but I'm giggling in my head right now I love that then uh, speaking of coal there's my coal oh my god that's hysterical and I so did not see that before I grabbed it I love these these are so awesome and we've got more goodies here we have these amazing tattoos Oh my God, Hermie, right? I think he, I always get mixed up. I think his name is Hermie. I am a misfit toy, so I love these. And then we've got Rudolph and Clarice. And we've got Bumble. And I was just sending out more Christmas cards yesterday. I'm up to 49, I think. That's a record for me. And I will still probably send more than that. And I have some... Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer stickers that are going out in and on those cards. So that's just perfect. They are so fun. Then we've got some more magnets here. Let's see what this one is. Oh, look at poor Santa. He is exhausted. Oh, why won't this focus? He is just like, peace out. I'm tired. I love him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, stick into my button. And we've got another magnet and another necklace. This is crazy, Terry. Oh my gosh, girlfriend. You're amazing. Okay, let's see. Let's see. It's funny because she posted on Facebook today that she's done with the Christmas swag sending. She wishes she could do more, but she's just basically like exhausted. And she wishes I lived closer because I would be her assistant. And I so would. I would love to be able to do that. That would nothing would make me happier. And then I'd be in Pennsylvania and you're so many of my friends. Someday, I believe I will live in Pennsylvania. All right, this one. Let's see. It would be so nice if this camera wasn't shit and would actually focus. But it is the cat in the hat. I love Dr. Seuss so much. And that is so stinking adorable. I love it. I love it. I love it. And again, my green, my Christmas green. Then we've got one more necklace. And we still have another bag of treats here. This is just an embarrassment of riches, Terry. Oh my God, girl. I love you. And let's see who this one is. Who or what this one is. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> there we go. My favorite Christmas movie ever, A Christmas Story. And there it is. It is Fragile. It must be Italian. The infamous leg lamp. I love it. I love it. That is so freaking awesome. And yes, when they do the 24 hours of A Christmas Story, I make Brian watch it at least two or three times every year. And he's so over it, but he's a good sport and he humors me. I can't help myself. And I will watch it any time of year. Like, that's a Christmas movie. It's just one of my favorite movies, period. So I will watch it over and over. Like, it doesn't matter if it's Christmas or not. It just... It's just so funny to me and never gets old. I know not everybody feels that way, but I adore that. And speaking of, how can I not pull this out? Look at this key ring. Oh my gosh. And I probably 
hold perler beads upside down. I never know the right way to hold them. And especially when Terry makes stuff with them because she does it so well. Like I tried to do a few perler things and I like burn them and I make them like they're just a mess when I try. So you can definitely tell which is the top and which is the bottom. And with Terry's stuff, you can't even tell because that's how good she is at making it. But look at that. That is a thing of beauty. And there better not be any uh, plant watering incidents in which this mysteriously breaks because I'm on to you. So don't even try. That is amazing. And then we've got Santi. Classic Rankin Bass Santi is just one of my favorites. I just love all the Rankin Bass movies. My husband was just in here a little while ago saying that he needs to find a good version either digitally or he would prefer it digital. He's trying he's not really a fan of buying physical uh you know DVDs or Blu-rays anymore. If he can just get digital copies of things, he prefers that. I mean, yes, I know there's like not an environmental footprint and everything then. I still tend to like to have the physical media just to hold in my hands. I don't know if it's just paranoia that someday like the internet and all technology is gonna like you know go like Skynet on us and <laughs> it's better to have the physical media but I still love it. But he's trying to find the definitive version of Santa Claus is coming to town because he just recently discovered there's an extended version that they only aired, he said, I think before 1980. And ever since, they've been airing the version with more commercials and the edits, and he's desperately trying to find the original. But we love the Rankin Bass Christmas specials so much. And look at that Santa. Oh, I love him. And he's soft and rubbery, so I can't break him or do damage. Like, with things like this key ring, like, I would never actually put this with, you know, in my purse with my keys. I would hang it on my purse. Or more than likely what I will do, because it's large and I don't want to damage it, is I will just hang it on my bulletin board so that I can look at it all day, every day, whenever I want to. I know it will be safe. But this stuff is so wonderful. Every single thing is just making me so stinking happy. Next up we have <gasps> gingies. I love gingerbread men. Gingerbread men are probably my favorite, like non-specific, you know, to like a, a movie or a franchise, a TV show, whatever, like just Christmas icon, I guess. Like, I just love gingerbread men. I think they're so stinking cute. I actually don't think I ever tasted gingerbread until the first time we had gingerbread men at Disney World. I'm trying to think. I really don't think I had. And now I love to eat gingerbread too, obviously, even though I feel guilty every time I eat their little faces. But I just love gingerbread men. I think they're so cute. I, I holes again, please. Sorry this is so disjointed. It's like Grand Central Station in here today. Nobody ever fucking calls us. That's freaking my mother's CVS calling for prescriptions she needs to pick up because she's a dingle dork and doesn't ever get things done in a timely fashion. So I get all distracted every time I have to pause for this stupid phone. Anywho, moving right along. Moving right along. Okay. Um. Oh my god. <gasps> Wally World! Oh my god, it's the moose from Wally World! Marty Moose, Marty Moose, Marty Moose. I love this necklace! Terry, you are amazing! And he's filled with sparkles and glitter, and I love him. He is so stinking cute. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. He looks like a piece of chocolate, but like the most beautiful, delectable piece of chocolate ever. Eh, trying to focus failing as usual all right we're almost there you guys this has been so much fun and i am just overwhelmed by how many goodies are in this package i don't know that i've ever recorded an unboxing of goodies from terry before but i had to today because i'm like this girl deserves some damn credit for as generous as she is ah! oh stop it's the child is he drinking cocoa? We're going to say that's cocoa. I mean, it could be coffee. It could be tea. And I love all three. I even love hot cider. So I love all of those. But we're going to go with cocoa because he's a child. And 
kids shouldn't drink coffee. It kills me. This is just a random aside, but how many people take their kids, like little kids? Like, I'm sorry, if you're under the age of 13, you shouldn't be drinking coffee at Starbucks, okay? Can I just put that out there? That's just a me thing. I am not a parent. You do you. But seriously, like, how many people go out and get, like, caramel macchiatos with their kids and the kid is, like, nine why does a kid need coffee? And my husband is the exception to this rule because he grew up raised primarily by his grandfather and they were just, it was like the, you know, the two men about the house and he drank coffee from the time he was a little boy. But I mean, like we're talking like now in, you know, the 2020s, like, no, nine-year-olds don't need to drink coffee. They can wait until at least they're a teenager. That just irritates the crap out of me but anyway that's beside the point we're just gonna say that baby Yoda the child because he is a child is drinking hot chocolate and I love these I stink and love them they're so cute and what I love about a lot of the stuff that Terry makes is that like these look huge but they're not heavy so like I know these will be comfortable to wear and I have issues sometimes with post back earrings I never used to but if the post doesn't lay perfectly flat against my ear, like if there's any raised area on the back of the post, I can get ear infection so easily now. It's just one of the many joys of aging. So I love that these are hookback earrings because I can wear all of these with no problem. And they are so adorable. I can't even deal. All right. And we've got two more things. Nope. There's a two. Yes, there are two in one bag. Let's see. Two more necklaces, it looks like. Okay, I don't get, I don't know, Margo. And I'm very upset about that. What Christmas movie have I not seen that I don't get this reference? I'm Googling it as soon as I get off the phone, but that is so stinking adorable. I love the, the Christmas tree pattern on there, and I'm going to find out what that is. And then I'm probably going to find out I do actually know what the reference is and feel stupid, but... Either way, I'm Googling this in as soon as, as soon as I get done with this video. But that is so stinking adorable. And very last, but certainly not least, we have... Eh, 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 eh. Focus, focus. And why is the carpet all wet, Todd? And again, I don't get that one. And I'm going to feel really stupid because this is probably, these may even both be from the same franchise of television series or movie that I should have watched ages ago and haven't yet. So I'm going to look these both up and find out what they are from. I, I don't think these are from Christmas Vacation. I'm going to find out though. But you guys, look at this pile. And I put stuff on top of each other so you can't even fully appreciate the beauty that is all of this wonderful swag but terry you are the best i wish you and your family the most wonderful christmas i can't wait until we live closer to you and it's gonna happen i i i believe that it will for sure because we certainly can't afford to live in new york for the rest of our lives it's too fucking expensive here but um there are so many people i love in pennsylvania and in maryland and in virginia and in that part of the country, it'll be so nice to be closer to all of you guys. And um, even in Jersey, I feel like if we were in Pennsylvania, we'd be closer to a lot of our Jersey friends than we are here in New York. I don't know why, but Long Island just feels like Siberia. I mean, this is not to say that I don't have any friends here on Long Island. I do, but not many, to be perfectly honest. I have way more friends in the other states I mentioned. So if we end up there, we will be physically closer to so many of the people that we love, and that'll be amazing. But this is too much. I love you so much, Terry. Thank you guys for hanging in with all the interruptions and for this being long and me going off on tangents like I always do. But I definitely wanted to share this unboxing with all of you. So thank you for watching. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye guys.